In our first example of a test package, we have a single test. This is a test with requirements and test cases and corresponding parameters. I can see that there are three requirements. I can filter down to just the failed requirement by picking on the chart. The tool automatically filters for me, and it lets me then look at the next pieces of information that are relevant. The test case here has four steps. This allows me or the test operator to look at the actual steps one at a time. By selecting the next test step, I can see the details of that step. Finally, I can see that it's this parameter that failed to meet its criteria of being within the range from 50 to 55. The next example of a test package is one where there's multiple runs. In this case, I have three runs. So these runs are test iterations, and I can see that two of them passed and one failed. Our third type of test package is based on simulation. In this case, we have multiple simulation requests. Two of them are MATLAB Simulink 1D runs, and one is an NX fuel tank capacity run. Let's take a look at one of the Simulink runs because it's already complete. Here we've got our requirements. We've got a simulation analysis where the simulation is run from and the results are recorded, and we have our parameters. In this case, we see that we've got a passed value because our measured value exceeds the minimum of 1800. And the last type of test package we'll show today is a multi-domain test package. In this case, we can allot the work for the CAE to the CAE team and the physical work to the physical testing team, still combined in top-level verification requests. Not only that, you can manage multiple types of testing within each of those domains. In this case, we're seeing NVH and FADE being evaluated both in the simulation and physical space with the purpose of correlating the final results.